Good morning. My name is Franklin Samaru. I'm a member of the Revival Time Assembly Church in San Fernando. At this time, I would like to thank my senior pastors, Reverend Lloyd and Norma Hart, for giving me this opportunity to share from the Word of God with you today. Let us pray. Father, you are worthy of all praise. With grateful hearts, Father, we bow before your throne. And we thank you, O God, for your mercies. Lord, as we are about to go into your word, we pray, O God, that you'll minister to your hearing, to your hearings, mighty God, by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. As we go forward in righteousness, we have covered that in order to go forward, we should not look back. We must get the right directions. Direction through prayer, through his word, and living righteous before him. And we must always be alert. Today being the fourth day of this week's devotion, I would like to take this time to encourage you not to get weary. My title of today's message, therefore, is Do Not Get Weary. Although driving can be relaxing, it takes a lot of concentration and drains your energy so much that some people fall asleep. They fall asleep behind the wheel. This can result in serious injuries or even death. As we go forward in righteousness, not giving in to the tremendous strain of life's journey, it is easier said than done. There is good news though. You don't have to endure pressure, the pressure of this life journey alone. God is here. He said he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. In 2 Corinthians 12 and verse 9, it says, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. When life journeys become so much that we start to buckle under the immense pressure that we are faced with, remember this, God's grace is sufficient. His strength is what will carry us through. He is our very present help in a time of trouble. Is the journey becoming too much for you? In Isaiah 61 and verse 3, it says, He has given us a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. When we feel burden and our heartbeat is almost flatline, praise Him. We must praise God through our trials. There is victory in our praise. I remember Paul and Silas. And we all are familiar with that portion of scripture, that though they were in shackle, bound in prison, they praised God. And we see and know the outcome, their deliverance came, they were set free. I encourage you today, are you weary? Let's praise God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your people, and we thank you for your word that continues to encourage us. For those that might be faced, O oh God, with trials, Father, that they might be growing weary at this point in time in their journey. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you will release your strength upon them, that today, O oh God, they will purpose in their hearts to praise you in their situation. And we pray, O oh God, that victory will come in the name of Jesus. So we commit them now into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray. I thank you for joining us today and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you.